Hi, what's up everyone? Hi, my name is Kathy. I'm the Beauty Supply Insider and today I'm right here in my store and I just finished a call with one of you. So I do offer a complimentary clarity call where you can book a call with me and we can discuss about your goals and your dreams and see if we can work together. So in these calls, it's actually usually very beneficial because I don't hold anything back and if I feel there's something that I need to say, I'll definitely say it so to, this morning i i spoke with one of you like i just said and we talked about three things that she had concerns for and she needed my help with that and i was like okay cool so if she needs that that probably someone else does need them so i'm gonna mention the three things i'm gonna talk about one in this video and then i'll do another two videos talking about the other two things so the first thing that we talked about was um, how frequent should you be shopping for your store? So this particular lady already has a beauty supply store, right? And she's struggling with keeping up with inventory in her store. And she was wondering how often do I purchase items for my store? And what advice do I have for her? So we'll talk about that. And then the next thing that we talked about is setting up your store. Like she was asking me, uh, she sent me a video and some pictures of her store and asked me what I think about her store setup and if I can offer any advice on how she can set up her store. And um, she was mainly talking about uh, because she has a salon and a store and she wants to make sure that when she's with a client at the salon and someone walks in the store to shop, how can she make sure that, you know, someone who has happy fingers is not going to pick up stuff in her store when she's not seeing and then the third thing is how does how do you know if you have the right inventory like how do you come up and decide like you know what i'm actually gonna sell this in my store and i'm gonna sell this in my store and i'm gonna sell these in my store like how do you decide what are the items that you should be selling in your store so we'll also talk about that as well in a separate video so we're just gonna split this into three videos so let's start with the first question um Let's talk about how often do you shop for your store? So when I started out, I was on a very tight budget. <laughs> like any other, you know, black-owned beauty supply store, you know, unless you have a lot of money. But most of us actually start on a budget, like really tight budget. So that's where I started out. And lucky for me, I had, uh, uh, I still have a vendor who's like super close to me. They're 30 minutes away, so I can drive to that location and buy items. And lucky for me, they actually sell these items in threes. So literally, I can buy three of these. I can buy three of these and three of these for my store. And when I sell out, I can go grab another. So when you're starting out any business or anything in life, you only have two things. You either have time or money. All right, so you either have time or money and one of them is going to mean something to you. So for me, I did not have the money. So I was okay driving 30 minutes every week to go buy the items because I could only buy three at a time. And that's what I want you to decide. Like, do you have time to just keep shopping frequently or do you have the money to just shop once and done, right? So I told her, when you're starting out, it's okay for you to buy a little bit at a time. But it's gonna sp it's, you're gonna spend a lot of time, you know, getting these items, reordering these items over and over. But as soon as you grow a little bit, then you can start ordering these items, you know, like once a month and do like a dozen or two boxes or three boxes at a time. And that's where I am right now. But there's another catch. <laughs> so you cannot be sold out of this item and say that, like, let's say I bought two boxes, right? Right now I'm buying once a month. I only bought two boxes and I'm out. I cannot say I'm going to wait until next month to buy this item. No, I have to make sure that I bring that item literally next day. So if I am out of staples, staple items, those I have to reorder immediately. I'm sold out. All right, but then there's items that if you if I sold out, it's okay. I'll just wait until the end of the month when I do my next purchase. So that those will be items like this. So this is a kids shampoo, right? This is from Aunt Jackie's, and um, so this is the brand Aunt Jackie's, and this is like a detangler from Aunt Jackie's too. It's a kids one. So if I sold out of these, I wouldn't be in a hurry to bring it back because I can just bring it back next month because I still have other products for kids that someone can use in the meantime, right? But I don't have a solution for this. Not everyone, you know, 
people are very picky with their braiding gel so if they only use this they'll only use this if they only use this they'll only use this and if they only use this they'll only use this so these i cannot they're not interchangeable so i have to get those ones all right now that i've explained the staples and the items that it's okay to wait on that's fine but you guys reach out to me all the time and you're like kathy i'm watching you on youtube i'm the beauty supply store uh insider on youtube people say like i can see you opening huge boxes at a time i'm like i'm here to tell you that's not how i started okay i did not start opening huge boxes literally like i was shopping three things at a time okay so don't look at that success and think that that's how you're supposed to start no it's a hundred percent okay for you to start slowly but surely keep growing your store okay um if you're interested to see how my store was when i started out just let me know leave it in the comment section i will show you what my store looked like because right now it's god i'm 100 percent grateful it's god that has god has here and our community for supporting us so it doesn't start this way okay and it's 100 percent okay for you to start small and grow big i don't want you to buy into the idea that you have to stand grand and all that like no no that's not it so maybe you're out there and you're thinking how do i even know what is a staple and what is you know what are those products so we have an inventory list that you can purchase that has all the products that you need to have in your store when you start out and then when time comes you can now start seeing what actually sells in your store and focus more on those okay all right so now we know how often should you order why should you order this frequently and why this is okay to wait and can you just start slowly and then grow can you just start with small items and all that okay if maybe something was not very clear just leave your comment okay leave a comment let me know i want to explain everything so you guys know when you're getting into the beauty supply industry you have all the tips and information on your hands okay all right see you on the next one